TSA may soon be demanding that travelers empty most of the items from their carry-on bags into different screening bags. Soaring baggage fees have travelers cramming more items into their carry-ons, making it harder for TSA screeners to spot possible explosives. So will this cause more delays? Well, we all want to be safe, right? Our own Jeff Locke is at O'Hare Airport in Chicago with the details. Hey, Jeff. TSA, uh, Trish, says no, it will not cause more delays. But when you look at some of the ideas that they have and that they're testing right now in terms of uh, targeting items, I don't know how it could not slow down the lines, at least at the outset. Take a look at some of these things. Uh, you may have to take the chocolate out of any bag that you carry on. That's because uh, they say that it can look like plastic explosives in the x-ray machine if they don't know more. Books may have to come out of all of your carry-ons uh, because the books are thick and they can't really see through them very well. Uh, anything that is smaller, or I should say larger, than your, your cell phone, that would be iPads or uh, tablets, as well as all food may have to come out. Uh, and for those of us that travel a lot, you know, a lot of things are crammed into the bag. Uh, this is now being tested at multiple airports around the country. They did a test, uh, Wall Street Journal was told, at one airport where they made everybody take all the, the paper out of their bags. That didn't go well, so they've sort of abandoned that idea. But now they're testing at 10 airports around the country. Uh, so if you are at any of these airports, uh, Boston, Logan, LAX, Detroit, and some uh, medium-sized airports, uh, you may be subject to these new rules. Here's, I'll leave you with one positive, Trish. If you are a TSA pre-check, this will not apply to you. So that's good. All the more reason to try and get that pre-check thing. All right, Jeff Locke, thank you so much. I got it.